Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to DTRM Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the double clicking issue on a mouse. In this particular video, we're going to fix a Logitech G300 or G316. Forget exactly what the model of this is, but it's the, one of those from $40 Logitech mice. So, uh, by double clicking issue, I mean that when you click once, the computer or your computer would register twice, register the click twice. So obviously the first thing that you need to do is to remove these pads. This is not the first time I disassembled this, so it's easier. If it's the first time you're disassembling a mouse, your mouse, uh, you might want to use uh, some sort of flat thing like this one to try to peel it off because there's a groove here and using your fingers might might make it hard so use a thin sheet of metal like a fillet oh no like a screwdriver a flathead screwdriver or a guitar pick so here's some tweezers yep indeed broke it It is harder than I thought. There you go. Okay. So for this particular mouse, you have four screws, one, two, three, four. Remove all of them. And it should come off like that. Doesn't clip on, so it's easy to pull the this this upper part. Now you have this board. Now that's now the problem of my mouse is on the left click. So it's going to be this thing. So these are what you're actually pressing on when you when you hit the mouse button it has a notch here that hits this white little thing to remove the board from the undercover just remove this screw and remove that screw and this screw so that's three screws if you're working with a particular mouse that's not this logitech Make sure you don't force anything or else you'll break something. Now, it's up. Now we can go back and try removing this. Um, and we can already reach into those flaps so we could pull it off from the tab. Do it gently. There. We got it. Yeah. Now we have to do it on the other side. Oh, it went up. Okay, it already went up. Well, let's do the other side. Very careful there. So both of the flaps are now uh, disconnected from the tabs. We can safely pull. I recommend pulling it uh, like this because otherwise you'll lose that white little thing in the middle. That's not attached. That's just like laying there. And if you flip this over, uh, it might get lost. It might get lost. So, uh, this is what we need to flex or bend. Alright, so when you click a mouse, that white tab that you saw earlier would hit this, uh, this bar-like thing on the center. So it gets depressed and tick, 
tick tick you would hear the click like that there is this small little metal thing here that one you depress it it closes a circuit there now the problem with the double clicking method is that it it would sometimes not make contact properly so what you need to do is pull this up a bit this uh, this thin metal this thin H thing you pull that up a bit so that it would it would be stretched back and that would prevent it from double clicking again pull that a bit not too much these things are very delicate and there's hair now that you're done take this uh, thing and put it back like not like so make sure the on your orientation is correct we know the white side should be on on this uh, inner side so it has to be like this so the reason what, why I have to do it like this is so that that white tab won't fall it's gonna be a pain to put it back in there make sure you're not gonna hit the metal parts and snap now it's fixed now all you have to do next is just put everything back together Right, this has to go through here. Yeah, so returning this should be easy. I'll put it on. Put the pads back. Unless you don't want to. it fixed thank you guys for watching hit like if you like this video dislike if you dislike it let me know in the comments what you think if you have any questions just put them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe